Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this session, I shall be explaining another solution for the critical section problem and the name of the solution is called as Peterson solution. So before you start watching this session, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. So this solution makes use of the logics of the turn variable and the flag variable. Combining these two logics, the solution is here. But let us check first whether the solution will satisfy the very first condition and that condition is what? Mutual exclusion. So to begin with, let us first start writing. Yes, you have to first indicate these two variables which you are using here in the solution. One is the turn variable, initial value for turn is 0 and the other one is the flag, boolean array and the initial value for both of this is set to f. So f indicates what? The processes are not interested to enter into the critical section. Next, we'll, uh, now we'll uh, carry out this for process p0. P0 wants to enter into the critical section. So what P0 will do? It will set its flag to T. T indicates that it is interested in to enter into the critical section. What next thing what it will do is it will set the value. That means it will change the value for turn from 0 to 1. Turn is equal to 1. Then it will try to execute this while loop. In this while loop, you look here, there are two conditions. One is turn and another is what the other one, which is using the Boolean array flag. First, it will check whether turn is equal to 1. Yes, turn is equal to 1. So, the condition is what? The condition is true here. What about the flag of the other process? Here it is true. What about the flag of the other process? Is it T? No, it is F. So, this is false. Okay. The other process flag is F. <clears throat> now, look here. In this while loop, you have logical and operation. True logical ended with false is what? False. True logical ended with false is false. The condition is false. So, the process P0 can enter into the critical section. At this point, you have to do what? The context switch. Because you have to test here whether P1 can also enter into the critical section at the same time. Now, P1 will start executing its lines of code in the entry section. First thing what it will do is it will set its flag to T. Fine. P0 has already, done, uh, P0 has already written as T. Now, P1 is interested. P1 will set the flag to T. It will change the value for turn here. Turn is equal to 0. Then it will check this while loop. While turn is equal to 0, yes, the condition is true here for process P1. What about the flag of the other process? Is it T? Yes, it is T. So this is also true. True logical ended with true becomes what? True. Then if this while loop is true, the process cannot enter into the critical section. P1 cannot enter into the critical section. This is what we wanted to check here. Definitely, we can say that this solution what will satisfy the condition called as mutual exclusion. It will satisfy the condition mutual exclusion. Next, we have to check whether it will satisfy progress. Progress as if you remember in the previous solution I have explained, both the processes entered into the deadlock state. That should not happen. Whether this solution will also lead into deadlock or will it solve the problem? Let us check. So let me erase the previous values. Boolean array consisting of two slots, one for process, another for process 0, another for process 1. Initial value set to F, turn value initially is 0. Process P0 start executing. Process P0 will set its value to T. Turn equal to 1. It will set the value for turn is equal to 1. Then we will say this particular process is context switch. When it is context switch, the charge will go to which process? P1. When the charge goes to P1, P1 will start executing. Then it will set its flag to T. It will change the value for the variable turn equal to 0. Look here, it has changed the value of the variable turn equal to 0. Then context switch happens. Once again, the process P0 takes the charge. P0 has executed these two lines. So what it will do is, it will carry out this particular line now directly, the while loop. Is turn value equal to 1? No, turn value is 0 in this case, at this point. So turn value is 0. This particular condition is false. What about the flag of the other process? Is it true? Yes, it is true. So, this condition is true. Now, one condition false, another condition true, logical ended. 
it becomes what it becomes false if this is false what will happen the process p not can enter into critical section so here at this point what has happened is p1 has not blocked p not even though the contact switch happened here if you see in the previous case what was what we noticed is p not got struck and p1 was also not able to carry out both where we say that there is a deadlock here but in this case what we have noticed is when contact switching happened here charge went to p1 once again contact switching that is the charge got, p not got back that uh, control then p not well and when it executed it could it could execute smoothly here it got the what it uh, got this value for the while loop as false and it could easily enter into the critical section so this way it will enter into the critical section then at the time of leaving it will set the value for flag equal to f then once the flag of this particular process p not becomes f p1 can smoothly carry out its execution also so here we can say yes definitely there is no deadlock happening progress is achieved progress is achieved now let us see when we these two conditions got satisfied whether we can check bounded weight will also get satisfy or not in this solution okay so let me let us start the process again now so initial values as i said i will set it to f turn value equal to 0 so turn value is 0 here 1 f and f now for bounded weight we need to see here no process should wait for a longer time to enter into the critical section what exactly it means here in this example p not started executing okay when p not is in the critical section p1 has made an attempt to enter into the critical section but definitely since it satisfies the mutual exclusion p1 cannot enter into the critical section it is busy waiting there when p not came out from that critical section it wanted to enter it again that time p not should not be allowed because if you allow p not again to enter into the critical section p1 will be waiting then once again p not will enter p not will come out once again p not will enter for the third time it will come out if that solution is giving the chance for p not only to enter again and again not just p not any process to enter again and again and the other process is waiting indefinitely so that is what bounded wait says that there should be some limit okay for a process to wait to enter into the critical section so let us see whether there is a limit or process p1 will wait indefinitely p not v not wants to enter into the critical section it will set the value for flag flag that is f to t what about turn it will change it to 1 turn equal to 1 then what about this while loop because it has to enter into the first it will check this value turn is equal to 1 yes it is true fine flag of the other process is it true no it is f so it is this second condition is false true ended with false becomes what false when true ended with false becomes false p not can enter into critical section this is what i am trying to tell you when p not is there in the critical section okay p1 has made an attempt that means there is a context which happened here p1 has made an attempt to enter into the critical section p1 will set its flag to t because it is interested this i'll just note down again from here to here turn is equal to 0 it will change the value for turn then it will check whether turn is equal to 0 yes it is true what about the flag of the other process is it t yes it is t it is true then true logical ended with true becomes true so p1 cannot enter into the critical section because what the while loop condition has become true here p1 cannot enter context switch happen since p1 cannot enter the control goes to p0 p0 will come out what p0 will do at the time of leaving the critical section it has to change the value of f okay it has to change the value of its flag it will change from t to f so it has come out from the critical section now now here we'll see p0 wants to enter into critical section again p1 has p0 has come out but it wants to enter into the critical section again so p0 
वंस अगेन स्टार्ट एक्सिक्यूटिंग इट्स कॉड इट विल चेंज द वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर फ्लैग टू टी then it will change the value for turn to 1 then it will check the while condition while turn is equal to 1 is turn value for turn is equal to 1 yes it is one only here so the condition is true here for this part the second part what about the flag of the other process yes the flag of the other process is t so this is also true the other condition true logical ended with true becomes what true when this while loop condition is true the process p not cannot enter into the critical section so p not cannot enter into the critical section contact switch happens the control goes to p1 p1 which was busy waiting here will now try to execute this while loop so in this while loop when it is executing it will test these two conditions that are mentioned in the while loop one is what whether the turn value is equal to 0 no the turn value is false is 1 here so this is false whether the other process value is t yes it is t so this is true what about false logical ended with true it is false when once it is false the condition of the while loop becomes false and p1 will enter into the critical section so what is the conclusion what you have noticed here is p1 which was busy waiting got its chance at least after one round only for one round p1 has waited because in this situation what has happened is p0 started executing first p0 came out from the critical section but when p0 was still in the critical section p1 has made an attempt to enter into the critical section p0 when it came out from the critical section it became very greedy and it wanted to enter into critical section again but it failed here p1 which was which was waiting there it got what it got its turn to enter into the critical section so here is what we can say that yes p1 cannot wait or need not wait indefinitely there is only some limit for p1 to wait what is the limit just wait for one round once p0 comes out you can enter into the critical section so this problem has this solution has what satisfied the third condition called as bounded wait so peterson solution is the popular solution here for uh, the critical section problem it is satisfying all the three conditions mutual exclusion progress bounded way there is fourth condition given in tenenbaum which says that no assumptions to be made on the number of cpus and speed definitely we are not assuming those things and we always try to see these three conditions only and whether a particular solution is satisfying or not and moreover here peterson solution is also for a two process solution but always we cannot say that there are only two processes that are competing there can be more than two processes also p3 p4 p5 pn up till pn all these processes are competing to enter into the critical section so that is also one of the next interesting topic in operating systems whether we have a solution for n number of processes also whatever we have seen here is what only for the two process it is a two process solution it is a busy waiting solution it is a software mechanism moreover <coughs> other solutions also you have seen one with hardware type one with software type so we can categorize the solutions into based on the hardware based on the software that way you can just look into all the solutions for this particular topic hope this session is useful to you all thank you bye bye take care